Good day fellow teachers. In this video we will continue our look at the story reading time lessons for the week. We have already looked at the story reading time lessons for Monday to Wednesday. We call these the Prima story lessons because they revolve around the story found in the pupils Prima. Now we are going to look at the class story lessons. These lessons are taught on Thursdays and Fridays. We call them the class story lessons because the pupils are reading a story they write as a class with the help of the teacher. The class story lessons are part of what make Mango Tree's model economical. We want pupils to read a variety of texts in the local language, but it can be expensive to have many printed texts. The class story lessons tap the creativity of the pupils and the teachers to create their own texts. The class story lessons also give the teacher an opportunity to model for the pupils how a story is written. During the class story, pupils write fiction stories that include the concepts of character, setting, and action. The teacher and pupils also write non-fiction stories that begin with a thesis, sentence, or question. The pupils develop the thesis with the supporting sentences. They end the non-fiction story with a summarizing sentence. Let's see how Petros from Ayago Primary School presents the class story lessons. After the pupils sing the story reading time song, Petros begins the lesson with a story starter. The story starter should be fun for the pupils and get them motivated to write a story. It should also lay out all the ingredients required to assemble a well-written story. The teacher's guide provides a sample story starter each week. Teachers are free to use it or come up with their own ideas. This week, the key word is koho or crying. The theme is living together and the sub-theme is living together in the school. The teacher's guide suggested a story starter for a non-fiction story with the thesis sentence, we should always ask permission if we want to use another person's property. Petros created his own story starter so that pupils could write a fiction story that would illuminate the sub-theme and also use the keyword. The children did a role play in which two pupils played Apio and Ochen, the main characters in the Prima. Another pupil played Opio, a naughty boy. A fourth child plays the teacher. The action is that Opio steals Uchen's pencil, which causes him to cry. Opio gets angry and tells the teacher. The teacher calls Opio and makes him return the pencil and apologize to Uchen. Uh, 
है जो है जमा अमान बेरी बेरे बेरा ओपियो अबीनु ते बिनु युतुमो युतु अलामा अलामुचिन काउ पियो युरो अलामुचिन उचिन ते को काउ चिनु को अपियो ते वो कुबु टीचर नि उचिन उ युरो अलामा ओपियो चाचो उचिन चाचो चाचो ओपियो युरो अलामा को बिन बिन में बिन में युतियो यी पुतिया बेर नि बाले वते युतु के पियो को ते वो करे को उचिन ते को को Justin Jacob Kobate Kobate Chungu tena tuko Leo ba Leo Tuko Kobu chien dua kalamu pio Kobu pio chien dua kalamu chien Wai wiri kobu pio ni dua kalamu chien Dua go dua kalamu chien Daya, tiada ngapai. Lelur, dia ko, eh, dia tu ko, kau jumpa tinggi berapa ya ko? Ah, cucu dah wap berping. As you can see, Petros class thoroughly enjoys the story starter. So when it comes time to begin writing, they are enthusiastic. And full of creative ideas. A man, eh? Oh, what do Chaco Choy Chihuahua? Eh? Oh, Chaco Choy Chihuahua? Kai in Dung. They win Kane. In any of you, Tim Eric. Kai in Dui will pour or pass. You will recover in all. Eh? You will cover in all Guinea and a candy. Uh huh. You will cover in all. Cobate. Awene. Aha, cobet ping. Opio yura lamu cien. Aha, ngau kena dah kau tima re. Ngau tima re. Ling, ling buat mud buat karcial. Esta jang. Ucian le putek le koh. Ucian le putek le koh. Aha. Next, Petros and his class need to transform the story starter into an actual story on the board. A pio te kopa pun. Mo ti meri komu chie na peru weri koma pio. Aha. A peru weri koma pio. Petros begins by having the pupils generate sentences that will tell the readers about the characters, setting, and action. Eventually, you need to put all the sentence ideas into an order that tells the story in a well sequenced way. Amanda, how many pen you can? I'll put a pen, a pen, do a good shipping. Momio, or she will put a care coho. Mo mi uchi no pute kere koho, aha? Al kululi dia, lewi? Piendo yura lamere? Ngao kene dohi? Mo mi uchi no pute kere koho, eno nu tia koko ngao, aha? Akelo sendrela? Unu tia koko lamere, aha? Ngato kene dohi? Mo mi uchi no nu tia koko, aha? Ado? Entero, eno tia koko ngo, eno tia koko ngo, uchi eno tia koko ngo, achi eno Jennifer, uchi eno tia koko kalamere, mama no, amana ni kwa bapu chini wapo wuna juu amau tushu, tushu ancha na no tushu, bapu chini wapo wuna chel ariwa dek, komisi chel akena chel ariwa dek, wa, eno nuno tia koko kalamere. Huh? Manda show your copying. And. And. Unwa. 
On nous entier. Akoko. Akoko. Akoko à la mer. Hein? Et nous dit Akoko à la mer. Et nous dit Akoko à la mer. Nga me on nous dit Akoko ni tient dit Akoko à la mer ni. Hein? Nga on nous dit Akoko tient dit Akoko à la mer. Link pe touchi. Agwe nation. Agwe. Nga on nous dit Akoko à la mer. O chien ni o chien no tia koka la mere nga me wuru dorro nga odorro chien nga odorro pio borro borro puony nga odorro pio jangan jela a pio a pio a pio a pio a pio o kobo pupils need to understand that a fiction story should have a beginning a middle and unending. Notice how Petros says aloud everything he's doing and thinking as he writes the story. He is modeling for the pupils all the things that a writer does when he composes a story. When the story is finished, Petros reads the story aloud. He corrects any mistakes or hard words or ideas where needed. <laughs> Koro, ini no mara chiel, uchie no pute kere koro. Eno no utia koko alamere, apio kobo. Boinduo kalamu chien, ngid kili wulwen, kere koro, apuonyo kobo. Now pupils join Petros in reading the story aloud. The lesson proceeds very much like a Monday prima story lesson. After the whole class reads the story several times, the teacher asks small groups and individuals read the story. Finally, at the end of the lesson, Petros asked several comprehension questions about the class story to check pupils' understanding. Miru ben kara chiel jodushu? Miru ben kara chiel. Nga okena na dokti Amiti dokwele kombe wa. Aha. Opiyo. Piyo hini. Ah, man po opiyo. Aha. Maranga. Maranga. Ayo. Ah, ayo, ayo. Aha. Miru tim ngao? Miru maro woti. Ni miru tim ngao? Ni miru tim ngao? Miru maro woti. Miru maro woti jodushu? After the lesson is over, the teacher copies the class story in his planning book, so he can copy it on the board again on Friday. The Friday class story lesson is very much like the Tuesday prima story lesson. Petros begins by asking pupils to retell the story they composed and read together on Thursday. <laughs> Chego wa me wano choi kwene i ot kan danga wur wano turu kan ini jo turu jo ta nyero maturu ko mono jo awura mono tie mo mano aya da mane ni ame de ngato ko koba ame de ngato ko koba wingane ame de ngato ko koba gina tie ti mere kwano wani ene Gina tia ti mere kwanwani gina ngo tia ti mere ye Petros reads the story to the class and then they all read it together then Petros selects several sight words 
and plays the same sideward identification game that he did on Tuesday. He should try to pick several words from the text that have already been sideward in the past to give pupils an opportunity to review them. He may also select one or two new sight words. This is an opportunity to review sight words from the Prima story. Finally, Petros ends the Friday class story lesson by making sure pupils understand any new vocabulary words in the story. He asks pupils to use the words in sentences and makes linkages to the sub-theme where possible. <laughs> A coco ngo. Aha, a gwe na rion. Ha? Di anti a coco. Gi no tu do ye. Le. Amina. Di anti a coco pi. Di anti a coco pi, yo Diantia coco pi, diantia coca tin, diantia coco cot, diantia coco, gina diantia mito, we gina diantia timo. Now let's repeat the main points of this video. Class story lessons are taught on Thursdays and Fridays. They are economical way for pupils to read a variety of texts in local language. The class story lessons provide pupils with a model for writing fiction and non-fiction stories. The class story on Thursday begins with a story starter. The story starter motivates pupils to write and gives the pupils all the information they need to compose a story. Each week the teacher's guide gives teachers one story starter idea they can use in their class. The pupils and teacher compose their story on Thursday and reread it on Friday. Many teachers fear the class story lesson because they don't believe they can organize a good story starter or model good story composition with their class. Let's listen to Petro's advice to teachers about organizing a story starter. In the class story, <coughs> it, there's already a provision for how to start the lesson itself it has already been provided by the mango tree. So we go back and read the story, class story starter. And it's the class story starter that directs you to go and uh, maybe work on a certain area, maybe the dramatic part of it, maybe a sort of a play. You cannot just bring the children and let them act there just anyhow. I had already some guides. Mm? Uh, so that's why I collected them and that's why I was saying, uh, here we have Opio and Achi, and there are very many in the class here. And because even the premier here is also talking about Opio and Achi. So in the yesterday's lesson, I took that advantage of using the, the names of Opio, the names of Achi, the name of Opio, the name of Achi, they were really, they, and they were the people who were uh, acting the, what? the play. It was very nice for them. Actually, even these other ones who were seated down, they were able to see that Hey, it's a pure now. They really are pure. They, they are pure and you chill. They are playing now. So that's, I think it was very interesting. Uh, not actually my own idea. I combine it because uh, we need also to monitor what children are, the words that they produce, and those are the words that I capture during the what? The play. Eh? When I capture, I take them to write on the chalkboard. If I write, they will now feel that, hey, it's this vocabulary that came from me. Oh, the vocabulary came from Uchen. The vocabulary came from, so it is out of me now to sort out what they have spoken and put them in a very nice pattern so that when they are reading, they feel, oh, it's not the teacher who gave us that. It's the word that came from those ones, from us who were uh, participating in the play. Thank you for watching. Have a great lesson.